up guys welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in today in this video we're going to talk about how to short in DeFi, dude everyone's like dude i want to short this market i want to short this i want to short that well hey be careful sometimes short and shorts are not always fun because dude i've shorted my shorts before and like i've had to sew them up like ten thousand times you've seen my shorts they're bad but anyways guys Let's go ahead and talk about how to short in DeFi. This is a quick little strategy on how you can do it. And man, Puffy the Mike, you're looking big today. A little puffy. Jeez. All right. So anyways, guys, we're going to show you guys how to short on different assets that you want to short in DeFi. So, or like in a decentralized way. So instead of like on Binance or whatever, like using their shorting tokens, you can actually go directly through DeFi to do this. Yes, there are protocols that are specific to that, but here is a option with a quote unquote borrow and lending strategy. This is just one that you can use. So I'm just gonna go over it real quick so you guys can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to Matic so you guys can see this. So while we're switching over guys, make sure you guys do three things for me. Like, subscribe, bell button, Leave a comment in that description below saying you subscribe and you'll automatically get thrown into that drawing turn $100 free BTC because why not? You guys like free Bitcoin? I do. Do I like to give it away? Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you guys do those three things and leave a comment in the description below. Tell me how you like to eat your Reese's. I mean, dude, me personally, I like them frozen, like in the freezer. If you guys haven't tried it, get your A game up or get your p game up because it's peanut butter anyways guys let's go ahead and show you guys how to short so if you're like dude i'm super short on or not short <laughs> and i'm not short i'm six five but if you're like dude i want to short bitcoin this is how you do it all you got to do is borrow and you'll pay to borrow it obviously and you borrow the asset and you go sell it for stables so you borrow the asset then you go to quick swap. This is just like a, a quick demo on how you guys can do this. I just wanted to make you guys a quick video so you guys can see these options. This is how you can get creative with this junk and thunk this stuff. So you're going to short the asset. This is how you do it. You deposit stable coins on this side. Quote unquote, stable coins don't move, right? Um, well, theoretically they don't. But you will deposit the stable coins and you can borrow. So you're going to earn interest on the um, stable coin side. Yes, you will have to pay for this. Um, but if you factor it out, look, 2.6, 88, and 1.34, it looks like it's going to be just like break even. So you're just basically going to be getting a free short. And even on centralized exchanges, you do have to pay to short because you have to borrow those tokens when you short it. If you don't know, understand how shorting works, basically when you short an asset is you sell it at the price that you're shorting it at. So say for example, you short Bitcoin at 30 G's, you're selling it at 30 G's in hopes to buy it back lower because if you buy it back lower, well, you made a profit because you sold it at 30, bought it at 20. So here's how shorting works. So shorting is when you're are not bullish on the market, but you're thinking like, man, this is way too frothy. So this is a good example. You have a pen. Pens are worth $10 right now. Johnny's got one pen. So you're like, hey, Johnny, let me borrow your pen and I'll return it back to you. So you borrow his pen, you sell it for $10 because you know there's a max or a huge influx of pens coming in pretty soon. So you pocketed that $10 because you're like, all right, I got $10 now, that pen sold, but I owe Johnny his pen back. So that max supply of, or <laughs> huge supply of pens come in and now pens are worth a dollar. So you go buy 10 pens, you give Johnny back his one pen. Now you have nine pens. Now you're like, yay, I got nine pens. You just shorted the market or you just shorted the pen market. Good job, Johnny. Here's how you'd short it. So you deposit stables on this side. So you're depositing the stable coins and you borrow against it. This is on Polygon, so gas fees are low so you can play around with it. So say Polygon or a Matic token is at $1 and I'm like, dude, this asset is going lower. I know it is. So I'll borrow tokens against it. And I'll say, okay, look, let me borrow 500 tokens. It's going to cost me $500 because they're a dollar a token. I automatically, the same day, same transaction, not same transaction, but same price, etc. I'll come and dump my Matic tokens, 500, get 500 USDC, deposit over here to keep the short afloat as in earning interest on it. So that way it can pay off the loan that I have to pay each day for keeping this loan out. Um, but now I have... 
500 extra dollars. Yes, I still owe 500 Matic over here, but I think it's going down. So when it goes to 50 cents, I will then come back, pay $250 to get 500 Matic. So then I will pay back the 500 Matic or the 500 Matic tokens that I owe. And once I pay that back, my loan is paid off. And now I just profited $250. That's how you shorted the market. So I'll explain it again. I got the stable coins on this side. I got a loan in Matic. So the Matic tokens that I got a loan for, they were worth $1 at the time. I got 500 of them. So it cost me a total of $500. So I then sold the Matic tokens, $1 a piece, 500 of them. I get $500. I shorted the market because I sold my Matic tokens and I got a loan against it. So when I get the loan against it, I still owe the bank, but it's in Matic tokens. I sold the Matic for USDC. USDC doesn't move as much. It's quote unquote a stable coin. Yes, there is smart con contract risk. So that is a factor that you have to take into account. So don't throw in all the bags and lever up. They can lose their peg. But that's how I shorted it because now Matic goes to 50 cents. So I buy back my Matic that I owe at a half price. I return it and I profited the other half. So 250 went to pay back the loan that I owed and 250 just went in my pocket and it said, man, we can go buy a good lunch now. But anyways, guys, that's how you can short the market in DeFi. If you guys enjoyed this video, three things for me, like, subscribe, bell button, leave a comment in the description below saying you subscribe. And make sure you tell me guys how you like your Reese's. Do you like them warm? Uh, actually, you know what? I beg to differ. You can warm them up, make them melty, put them on some vanilla ice cream. That'll be pretty fire sauce. No, that'll be some ice sauce. Um, but anyways, guys, that's how you can shorten the market. That's a quick shorting strategy in DeFi. And guys, wisdom one liner, make sure you guys like subscribe bell button and leave a comment below. Proverbs chapter 21, verses 29. The wicked put up a bold front, but the upright give thought to their ways. What does this mean, guys? Well, you need to thunk before you do. Because if you do before you thunk, then you could have done the wrong thing. So make sure you use this brain and thunk. See you in the next one. Dogs, got to say thanks to the patrons. Sean Bott, Da Man, Tariq Lu, TL King, JP, PJ, Bernito, Taco Nacho. Dogs, thanks for watching. All right, guys, if you want to catch me on TikTok, I do daily wisdom one-liners and let you guys see the pets and behind-the-scenes junk. So here it is. Scan it. Check it out. Bomb, bomb. All right, so next off, guys, if you guys want to support the channel and get paid to do it, you guys can check out Celsius. Celsius is fire, dude. So what's so cool about Celsius is, guys, first off, you can get $40 in free BTC using my referral link in the description below. Just deposit 100 bucks. Add in the uh, code BTC50. You will also get an additional $50 if you deposit $400, guys. It's free BTC. Next is Voyager, guys. I also got a referral link in the description below. Instead of just only getting $25, you'll get $25 and some free VGX tokens, guys. Next is BlockFi. BlockFi is part of the quadruple threat. Go ahead and make a deposit. Use this referral link in the description below. You get $100. Depending on how much you deposit, you can get all the way up to, guess how much? 250 bucks. All right, so what the pants is Celsius and BlockFi for? Well, you can use both of those as like your bank. They get some pretty nice juicy yields. And Voyager is more so like trading, and it gets some juicy yields as well. And the last one to try is Crypto.com, guys. You can trade some like smaller altcoins, and you guys will get $25 in CRO once you guys get the Visa card. Why do I like the Visa card? Well, you can sell crypto and buy some junk with it so i can buy a sandwich with my crypto i don't use btc but i'll use like stable coins and junk so anyways if you guys want to support the channel that's the quadruple threat thanks for tuning in guys you'll get paid to do it